Well, we've got a special rough cut studio visit for you today. We're going to drop in and speak with Margaret Lucek here at her Williamsburg studio. But you were saying you've got a whole batch of work here that you've gotten finished. So we're looking at what about two years, three years worth of work here? Two and a half, maybe three years of work. And uh, this is my working wall right here. I have three paintings I'm working on. And I've got small paintings to accompany the large ones and drawings, lots of drawings that go with it. And this is all acrylic, right? It's acrylic on white linen. Now, one of the things that is kind of remarkable about your work is that you've been working with some very high key colors, neon colors, and you even have done a series of phosphorescent works. Well, yeah, Oops. I have these fluorescent colors. And yeah, I have phosphorescent paintings that are downstairs in the basement, and I'm also working with iridescent colors. So you really love the uh, the high keyed colors, and also you've got a lovely uh, grouping of collages. Do you consider these collages or drawings or? and there's something that I made last All summer cut paper. when I was in Italy, and they become studies for my paintings. And you can see they're woven, and they're all cut. And some of these are based on the Day of the Dead imagery, yes. is that what that is? Yeah. And it's all using some very nice paper here. Now let's talk about uh, some of your forms that you're working on here, the kind of, uh, well, symmetrical pod forms with the repeated line patterns. Where did you come up with this design? Well, come over here so we can hear you. <laughs> they started with uh, the paintings that you just looked at before up here on the wall. That was one of the first that had that form right behind you. Okay. And slowly move from one to the one that's right and the one over. And they just slowly progress trying to twist and morph some of the same shapes with different colors and trying to make the space go in and out. You know, I it's like I like this piece it. right here with the, the light blue, but it's got a, a little cruciform there in the middle. Yeah, well, you know, once a Catholic, always a Catholic. <laughs> This and they the fit so well green. on the rectangular canvas, too. As you can see, it's the iridescent green. If you stand to the side, you can see the shimmer. Very nice colors. Those above are a little bit older. They're about two and a half years old. And you see repeated forms. The stars are repeated in a lot of paintings and the triangles. Now, you spent a lot of time in Italy and Mexico and you probably collect um, images or ideas or things that you might see in folk art and things like that that you, you recycle and, and bring back into your own work, right? I collect a lot of textiles that I have around every day that I look at and uh, they inspire a lot of the colors and the forms. Well, we're gonna make this brief, Margaret. Thanks for the visit. Thank you. Okay. And thanks, Kate.